And now a chilling warning from the coldest place on earth, which carries global consequences. Cracks are continuing to grow at an alarming rate on the icy continent of Antarctica. Antarctica's Thwaites Glacier, ominously known as the Doomsday Glacier, is showing accelerating signs of structural failures. New satellite data reveals rapidly expanding cracks, weakening the ice shelf that holds back massive volumes of inland ice. If Thwaites collapses, experts warn global sea levels could rise dramatically, threatening coastal cities, island nations, and tens of millions of people worldwide. It's a stark reminder that what happens in Antarctica does not stay in Antarctica. Here is our report. Deep in West Antarctica, the Thwaites Glacier stretches across an area roughly the size of Florida. For years, scientists have watched it retreat. Now, new research shows the glacier's protective ice shelf is cracking faster than ever before, pushing it closer to irreversible collapse. Satellite observations analyzed by researchers at the University of Manitoba reveal that fractures across the Thwaites ice shelf have more than doubled in total length over the past two decades. From 2002 to 2021, the cumulative length of cracks expanded from about 165 kilometers to more than 330 kilometers. While individual cracks have become shorter on average, their growing number signals rising internal stress and deepening instability. Scientists describe this as a major structural shift. as what's happening above the surface is only part of the danger. Beneath the glacier, warming ocean waters are accelerating the damage. Researchers have observed warm, salty currents swirling beneath the ice shelf in massive underwater eddies. Melting the ice from below, sometimes on timescales of hours and days. According to scientists, Antarctica is no longer behaving as expected. Well, we know a great deal, and we know that Antarctica is changing, and the rate at which it's changing is increasing. So we're seeing shifts in the ocean, we're seeing shifts in the ice sheet, we're seeing shifts in the ecosystem there. This melting creates a dangerous feedback loop. As ice melts, fresh cold water mixes with warmer ocean water, increasing turbulence which drives more melting, a self-reinforcing cycle intensified by climate change. Scientists say this feedback loop is now firmly established. What we're seeing is things like um, extreme heat waves, you know, levels of temperature change in Antarctica we've never seen before and didn't expect to see. We're seeing the ice retreating at a rate we'd never have guessed 20 years ago. And all of a sudden we're seeing this happening in front of our eyes. GPS instruments placed on the ice between 2020 and 2022 show the glaciers speeding up as cracks widen. The implications are enormous. Thwaites alone contains enough ice to raise global sea levels by roughly 65 centimeters. And because it sits on a reverse sloping seabed, retreat is likely to accelerate once it passes certain thresholds. 
the International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration reports that the glacier's retreat has already sped up significantly over the last four decades. Researchers also caution that Thwaites may be a warning sign for other Antarctic ice shelves. Similar patterns of cracking and collapse have already been observed elsewhere, with devastating results. Scientists say the planet has already lost more than 7 trillion tons of ice from mountain glaciers since the year 2000, a pace of loss that continues to accelerate. In 2023 alone, glaciers worldwide shed more than 600 billion tons of ice, adding directly to rising sea levels. The science is clear. Rising ocean temperatures, driven by greenhouse gas emissions, are destabilizing Earth's largest ice systems. What's unfolding at Thwaites is not an isolated event. It's a visible consequence of a warming planet. Experts say the most effective way to slow this damage is immediate and sustained climate action. Cutting carbon emissions, transitioning away from fossil fuels, and limiting further warming. The Doomsday Glacier is sending a message. The question is whether the world will act before that warning becomes a reality felt on coastlines everywhere. The world doesn't fit in boxes, so why should your news? From battlefields to negotiation tables, from internet outrage to real-world injustice. The conversations everyone is having ones they're avoiding. It's the same show, but this new year, First Post America gets a new look. I'm Kerry Johnston, and this is First Post America.